not sitting on a chair today. Oof. I actually kind of like this setup. This is actually really cute. Hello everyone, Bridget here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tips video and I haven't done one of these in a very long time. So I wanted to do one about finding writing motivation and just getting into that groove of creative flow and keeping with the habit of writing every day. I know that a lot of people have writing as like a new year's resolution so I wanted to give my advice to anyone who is trying to write anything, trying to write a novel, a screenplay, anything like to do with creativity. I think this will be really useful. So yeah. Before you get started, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you don't miss a video from me. <laughs> give this video a like and leave a comment down below if you have any uh, projects that you're working on or anything you want advice on. And you can also support me on Patreon. There is a link down in the description. You can get early access to my movie reactions and also just life updates. So that's always fun. But let's get straight into the video. My first tip is to find your spark. <laughs> that sounds like I'm quoting soul, but it's kind of true. The one quote that really helped me when I was starting out, well, I still am starting out. I'm still a beginner, but when I was really getting into creating and trying to find my motivation was the quote, I think it's create what you want to see in the world. That is really important to remember because you can't really control how other people are going to feel about what you create and the only person that you should be creating for is yourself. And your voice is very unique and you should write for what you want to see because what you want to see is different from a lot of people, but it's also the same as a lot of people. So figuring that out will help immensely with your motivation and just remembering that this is what you'd want to see on screen or read in a book or really anything really like even if you're writing a cookbook or you're making a piece of art you want to create something that you would enjoy using or looking at etc <laughs> i don't know what else what other examples there are but for me at least this is trying to fill a gap that you see in the media. For me specifically, it is a gap of representation in the LGBTQ plus community, specifically asexual characters. So that is a big motivation for me and I have written a short film and a feature film script about asexual characters because I feel that that is lacking in the media. And there are countless experiences human experiences that we don't see on screen or don't hear about in novels and that is something that is so important to explore and remember that your experience is so individual and what you write will never be the same as what someone else writes because your experience of the world is so different from everybody else so don't Basically, don't be discouraged if you see something similar to what you're writing. As they say, there's nothing new under the sun, but your voice is special. You might have a similar concept, but you will have a different approach. My next tip is to find your message. In my opinion, it's important to have something you want to say. And this can be something small or it can be something big. When it's something big, you do want to figure out a way to put it in digestible terms so that you're not preaching to people. But it's also a great challenge to tackle huge issues and huge topics that people don't talk about 
or may maybe they do and it's just under the wire or under underground under the wire i think that's the phrase yeah we all have topics that we're passionate about and especially creative people we want to be heard and art and writing and any kind of expression in the creative field is a way of expressing our voice in a different way we just want to be heard and this is the way that we choose to be heard instead of stepping in front of a microphone we are using written word or we are using a camera or a paintbrush anything to that effect it's really just a different way of expressing what we feel and our values so finding your message will extremely it will help so much with finding the story that you want to tell and making it mean more to you and through that it will mean more to your audience and on that topic you want to know who your audience is now this can be very broad and i honestly don't give it too much thought because you can't really know who will become attached to your material and it's really just a guessing game you can't really know how people are going to respond but having a vague idea of who you're writing for is really important for instance you're not going to write a historical thriller for children so or maybe you could i don't know give it a try but it will be very different language and it'll be very different um tone depending on your audience so keeping that in mind is really helpful it's really useful to have building blocks and per like vague parameters for yourself to know where you're going i know creatives don't really like limits or like putting into a box but if you create it yourself i find that it's really useful because it's not someone else telling you what you need to do it's you figuring out where you're going and how you're gonna get there so i find that really useful and it's really underrated in my opinion having breakdowns and genre and audience and all that fun stuff is really really useful especially when you are just starting a new project my last tip is to put yourself into it and by this i mean pretty much not fully literally but you want to inject your own personality and your experience into what you're working on whether that's the tone the characters the setting somehow if it's like a place where you grew up or somewhere you know very well sure it's the setting that that works um anything that connects you to the story or its characters will help so much for it to resonate more because the characters will feel more real and therefore it will connect even stronger with the audience because they'll feel like real people you can base the characters on people you know or you can base them on yourself i do this a lot with different facets of my character's personality and ways that they handle situations because I can relate to them. And there should always be something in each character, even your antagonist, that you can relate to or that someone can relate to or some like you should be able to sympathize to some degree with each character and know vaguely where they're coming from because otherwise they just don't seem like real people if that's what you're going for for some reason if they're like cylons or robots okay but it should be intentional it shouldn't be like oops i didn't mean to do that i wanted them to be like real people you need to put in that thought and really inject humanity into these characters because otherwise they just come off like flat two-dimensional characters and it's like whoops slipped on a banana peel and i just screwed that up so 
that is everything I have for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any other tips that you have. I would love to have a discussion about writing and just creating in general. I love talking about art and writing and everything creative. So just, yeah, let's start a discussion down in the comments and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss an upload. And I will be back on Friday with another movie reaction. So stay tuned for that. And so yeah, I will see you all then. Bye.